Hello. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the contents of a First World War British officer's valise. Let's have a look. First, we have a spare pair of boots and with them a pair of putties. We then have a complete set of service dress. In this case, that's a jacket and breeches. In a Highland regiment, that would mean a kilt. Other clothing included a pair of canvas shoes or plimsolls to be worn when off duty. They were a particular boon to officers during the retreat from Mons. Obviously, with all that marching with Hobnail's boots, being able to put something like a pair of canvas shoes on at the end of the day made a huge difference. We also have a few pairs of socks and a suit of underwear, which in this case consists of a pair of drawers and an undershirt. Moving on from clothing, we have some of the stuff that officers used for washing. So a canvas bucket, obviously for holding water, and then a, wa a holdall or wash roll similar to those used by the other ranks, containing shaving brush, razor, which could be a safety razor for officers, that was probably the most common type, a comb and a hairbrush, and of course a toothbrush, and appropriate soap and tooth powder or toothpaste for those. Listed separately from the rest of the wash kit or hold all was a piece of soap which here is wrapped in wax fabric to stop it from uh, soaking through to the rest of the kit and two towels. Then also have an interesting item, a tin of grease or Vaseline. In this case it's Vaseline, other types of petroleum jelly are available. The army used Vaseline or grease for practically everything, um, particularly greasing the inside of socks to stop blisters, but it could be used effectively for anything uh, that required any kind of oil or grease, uh, even on the rifle or revolver. We then have the housewife, and this is a fairly standard type, which is made from offcuts of fabric. Uh, in this case from a Mackenzie tartan kilt. And finally two items which were very important for the officer to be able to do their job. Firstly we have a writing portfolio which has paper, pens, pencils, notebooks etc um, and that's obviously very important because one of the officer's main jobs was the administration of their unit this might also include a thicker pen or pencil for blacking out uh, letters when censoring them. The final piece of equipment required to be carried in the valise by officers is quite an interesting one, and it's a collapsible lantern. In this case, it's the Stonebridge automatic folding lantern, which essentially opens up folds out and clips together and would provide the officer with light while doing their administration and things like that, um, particularly popular in dugouts. Although they did later in the war tend to be replaced by electric torches. An additional item of note here is the valise itself. This is a Wolseley pattern valise, which as well as carrying an officer's equipment, also contained their bedding. So in this one we have a standard grey army blanket as well as a private purchase sleeping bag. Essentially when the kit was taken out this could be rolled out and the officer could get inside the sleeping bag and blanket and inside the valise. That meant that at the end of a long march, like on the Great Retreat, the valises could be brought up, rolled out and the officers could just get in them and go to sleep. It's not exactly luxury but it's certainly better than what the ordinary soldier had.
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.